We've got around 29 minutes on the clock in this Champions League match with Newcastle and AC Milan. Just showing you the, uh, the, the data there, the stats. And we can see Newcastle here around evens, okay, 2.04. Now, anyway, we plugged in the numbers on this one. And Newcastle looking pretty strong, okay. Team goals overdue one in favour of uh, Newcastle. Total goals overdue is one in case you wanted to get involved on the goal markets. But uh, current projected match result is a win for Newcastle. And the price on Newcastle is looking pretty good as well. So, look, we can get in nice and early and catch this one uh, ahead of Newcastle potentially taking the lead. So let's back them here at 2.06 while they're, while, they're, while they're looking strong. And, of course, we can always reassess at half time or a little bit later in the match. OK, so anyway, from here, we're looking for Newcastle to take the lead. Let's see what happens. Nil-nil, 30 minutes on the clock. Well, we didn't have to wait long for that one. 34 minutes and Newcastle have taken the lead, OK? So their price has now gone in to 1.41. And if you do recall how strong Newcastle were looking, this is one of those situations where you might just want to leave the profit sitting on Newcastle, at least for a little bit, and see how the match develops, OK? Because they could easily go 2-0 up when they're looking as dominant as, as they are. So you can see the cash out. We could lock in. 90 pounds across all the all the outcomes but it's a significant extra profit just leaving it on newcastle so look obviously beginner football traders do tend to like to just cash out and lock it in and move on however when you've got the xg in your favor in such a way well yeah there's there's, there's good indication that you might want to leave that profit on newcastle if they go 2-0 up then yeah you, you could potentially lock in even more of that or not even have to take any action if they're 2-0 up so anyway, th those are all your options. But the important part is, is that we use the XG to find the opportunity. We spotted it around was it five, six minutes ago. And very quickly, we produced the profit. OK, won't always be as quick as this, but it does show you how effective the XG can be to at least make short term predictions within these football matches. And that's all we, we, we care about really as football traders, the short term. That's, that's all that matters within the match, of course. So anyway, uh, Newcastle won, AC Milan nil. Very, very quick profit, and you saw how we spotted the opportunity. I hope you enjoyed checking that clip out, and if you are enjoying the clips we're sharing on this channel at the moment, showing how you can use live XG data to find those good value football trades without having to sit and watch the match for hours on end, then remember you can also download this free ebook to help you learn more about it. The link is in the description. You can scan that QR code or just visit XG footballtrading.com and you're going to learn inside this ebook why live xg data is changing the game for football traders and how you can take advantage of it the main elements of interpreting xg data to find those profitable trades just like in the clips we're showing you and bottom line how to get started with implementing xg into your football trading and instantly upgrading your skill set and increasing your profits as I said click the link in the description or visit xgfootballtrading.com or is or just scan that QR code that is on the screen. Fill out your best email address and we will send that book right to you. And keep in mind that what you just saw was a short clip and we've got plenty more where that came from. The video on the screen now should direct you to the full video where you can get more information and see more similar live trades and how they played out. So go click on that video and we will see you in that next video or the next clip.